Hello everyone, it's Nadian. Welcome back to Fake Ass, a series where I review the fake up to the makeup that you love. And today we'll be testing out this fake ass Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. As you beautiful people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. I got this from AliExpress for $8 and it took about two weeks to get to me. The real Nubian palettes got so freaking popular so fast, so of course the fakers who are always on top of their shit had to replicate them. And last month we had the Nubian 2 palette which was amazing. No, it was better than that. It was fucking amazing. I am hoping we have similar results with this one because we have had some duds on here lately and having something that would work would just perk my tatas up. This palette is marvelous, darling. Not blurry at all and the palette seems so legit like there's the gorgeous queen on the front and the back is all the same information as the real one. I'm just gonna scan the barcode to see if it actually leads to the real Nubian palette and it's loading. Ooh! There goes the Nubian by Jubias on Amazon for $50. Holy shit! Looking at the colors, they are a bit darker than the real palette Palette, almost more of a reddish hue too, but it's still very, very pretty. I'm super excited to swatch these. You guys know the song. Are you ready? Swatch and ta ha ha but before I get into that, we have a giveaway. Yes, that's right, our very first giveaway, and I'm super excited to have teamed up with this company. Jord, the beautiful wooden watch company, has graciously offered to give one of my lucky subscribers free shipping plus $180 credit towards any one of their watches. Now, they already have quite a few watches that are 180 or less, so y'all could have some serious arm candy for free. Now, you probably don't know this about me, but I do have a minor watch obsession, so being sent this just means so much to me, and now the fact that I get to share it with you makes it that much more special. But let me show you what what you get and how you enter. So you get this giant George box with another little wooden box in it and it kind of smells like wood. I like it. And like you just saw, there is a little wooden box and inside the wooden box is your beautiful watch. Ooh, and it also includes the extra links you may need, all the information, cleaning cloths, and there's a little carrying thing down here where you can put all your knickknacks, some peanuts, some M&Ms, anything, and it's even got a magnet. Ooh. No, but seriously, you guys, these are very good quality. Like, I do not lie to you. They have amazing men's and women's watches. So, how do you enter, you may ask? Literally, all you have to do after following me on social media and subscribing to my YouTube channel is click the link below. There, you'll just enter your name and your email address in case you win, and you pick out the watch. That's all you have to do. It cannot get easier than that, but you do only have until February 19th of 2017. Then it is done. We will pick a winner. So good luck to everyone entering. Thank you so much to Jordan. And thank you so much to my beautiful, wonderful Poplex family. Now, back to swatches. We'll start with the first two on the top row and right off the bat, these feel so fucking amazing and super easy to pick up. I realize they swatched a bit chunky, but that's probably my fault for rubbing my finger around in there too much. Ew, that sounds gross, but you know what I mean. With these next two, the mat's a little bit dry feeling, but really not that bad. The metallic is, of course, out of this galaxy gorgeous. Apparently, it's incredibly difficult to fuck up a fake metallic shade because almost every fake shimmer we've had in the history of ever has been amazing. Onto the second row, these shades are so fucking soft, like almost fluffy. I barely even touched them and a ton picked up. Honey, even some real shadows aren't this rich feeling. And they might be too pigmented for it, but you could totally try and use these as a kick-ass highlighter on your face. The next shadows feel exactly the same, kind of like those very expensive high-end highlighters that feel almost like velvety skin. And even after I swatch, there's still enough on my finger left for another swatch. This shit is fucking fabulous. Now we have the last two shades and the mattes honestly feel so good and not grainy. And for being fake, the pigmentation is pretty amazing. Like the consistency is almost like a whipped shadow, kind of like how ColourPop single shadows feel. Very light and fluffy and airy. Onto the look, of course I prime my eyes and put translucent powder underneath them to catch any fallout. And I'm taking this nice camel color on a fluffy brush and sweeping it up my crease to create our transition. Today's look won't be too crazy and colorful, more like the basic glam we've done before. Then to start carving out the crease, I'm blending this brown into my eye socket and kind of up above the crease a little. I'm trying to create a smooth transition because I'm putting shimmer all over the eyelid and I just want it to be a nice gradient. And speaking of shimmer, I'm patting this nice light shimmer all over my lid and only my lid from the inner corner to the outer corner. I don't want to put this any higher because that's when it can start to look messy. This really isn't a cut crease. I'm just wanting a subtle little glam eye. Over that, I'm placing this orangey shade. In the fake, this was much more kind of a peachy color than in the real, but I think it's still a really pretty color. Now here's 
here's where I would have stopped if I were doing an actual tutorial. I would have skipped this darker shade and just gone for a nice cat eye with liner, but when I'm testing these palettes, I always know I'm gonna overdo it simply because I wanna see how these shades look combined. So of course I'm gonna kick my eyes up and use another shade. So I'm placing this reddish shade over the black to kind of dull it out a bit. I do realize this shit looks a bit silly. I'm just playing around and having fun, people. For the bottom lash, I'm smoking out this nude color all along the lash line, and then I'm gonna darken it up with this brown. And you don't see me do it here, but I'm going in and adding some highlighter to my inner eye, and of course I'm adding lipstick, mascara, and falsies. And here we are with the final look. For lips, I ended up using Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood and NYX's Kitten Heels, and do I love this palette? I actually really do. I know I used way too many of the shimmers. I kinda knew going into this that I probably would because I just wanted to test them out, but I still do like this look, and the fact that I probably could have created a really pretty look with just like three or four of the colors makes me love this palette even more. Is it as good as the Nubian 2? Definitely. This palette's like the chill firstborn and the Nubian 2 is like the wild, crazy, colorful baby of the family, but I love them equally. Of course, I cannot recommend a fake because we really don't know what's in it, but damn, this shit is pigmented as fuck. Other than the eyelash glue, my eyes feel totally fine. Like I have no irritation or burning sensation from this whatsoever. But there you go, baby. Don't forget my newest single, Underwater, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who supported it. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see on future fake ass episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.